So first of all, you're gonna get your wings. You've got them in these kind of standard little three parts. You don't need this bit. You can just chuck that away, keep it. If you want to make a little chicken stock, it's quite good for that. And then all you're doing is just finding the joints and chopping it into your little drumette, and then you've got your little... The flat. That's the it. flat. There you go. So, I mean, it takes a couple of minutes. You just get right in, slice that off, tip to the side, then, and on you go. You need a nice, good, sharp knife for this. So, always good to you always need to make sure you wash your hands after touching chicken, otherwise you'll die immediately. Yeah, it is immediate. Yep. It's, it's one of the quickest steps in the land, actually. Going to go for the buffalo sauce. So, obviously, these have got quite a lot of cooking to do. What I like to do is get this made, leave it sitting, and then just heat. You can either heat it up before you mix it with the wings, or you don't even have to, because the wings are going to be hot. So what you want to do is just get a pan from cold and pour in as much hot sauce as you want. I'm going to use two bottles. Um, you can use any hot sauce that you want, but I don't know why I would want to use anything other than Frank's, because <laughs> it's the best. And then stick some butter in. And the butter is going to change how unhealthy or healthy it is because okay. you're literally just eating melted butter but also how spicy it is so if you want a really spicy hot sauce don't put much butter in if you want a milder one stick more in and just in cold to the pan keep that in a medium like quite a low heat and as that sauce heats up the butter's going to start melting and then you're going to end up with a buffalo sauce when you're done. done so the next thing to do with the chicken is you don't want it really put too much in other so you've got some salt, got some pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat in the wing as well, because I like it quite spicy. And some smoked paprika so you get that kind of nice smoky flavour. Just gonna season the wings up. You don't need to put too much in at this stage. The next trick is a little bit of baking powder. Now this doesn't taste nice and it's obviously normally used for baking. But if you put the right amount in, you're not gonna taste it. And what it's going to do is have some sort of mad chemical reaction with the chicken wings, bring a bit of the moisture out, and I don't know exactly why, but it helps you get a nice crispy skin. So you just kind of mix all this up, and you want the wings to be seasoned. You've got that salt and pepper there, obviously, and then your cayenne and paprika. But you want to make sure you get that baking powder in. Chicken wings there, they're all nicely coated, nice and equally. Um, Ross has been stirring this sauce, so if you want to come and have a look in at it, um, it looks like buffalo sauce. You just take that off the heat, you'll notice it's not got the oil all over the top or anything. You just put that off to the side and that'll be ready to serve. What we've got is we've got the oven over here preheated to 120 or 110 degrees Celsius, so really low. It won't take long to get up to that heat whatsoever. Grab a baking tray, nice deep one because it's going to collect any juices. So this is just to stop the chicken from sticking it, to the bits. It does make it healthy as well, doesn't it? Yeah, also so healthy. One, 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 one calorie per spray, so that's about 14, 14, 14 calories. calories. Help, just whack these on. Chicken wings are all ready to go in, so you want to pop them in the oven at 120. Just stick them in the middle of the oven. Um, in fact, you know what? You can bring them down a little bit. You just want them really slowly cooking. Uh, so yeah, we'll come back to that in between 45 minutes and an hour um, and see how they're looking. So that's our chicken wings have been in for 45 minutes and I'll take them over here and just have a quick look. Pretty much cooked all the way through, but they're not too crispy yet, so that's what the next stage is gonna be. So we're gonna leave them out. And it doesn't matter if they cool down a little bit. In fact, that's even better. These have cooled down now and they are fully cooked. Uh, so basically what we're wanting to do now is get these in a ripping hot oven. So I've had this on for like, three hours, <laughs> but you need it on for about 15, 20 minutes to get it up to like top temperature. And we're just wanting to get these wings nice and crispy and heat them back up. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven. We'll just keep an eye on them. 10 minutes will do the job, but just make sure they don't burn. And then while we're doing that, I'm gonna move on to making blue cheese dip to have with the wings. First things first, I'm gonna mince up some garlic. But while we're doing that, I'm gonna give Ross some sour cream. Uh -huh. So we want to use half of that. Okay. Just whack that in. So I'm just mincing garlic just as you normally would, just nice and fine. So that's got sour cream in it there. We've got a nice minced garlic over here. So I'm gonna give you some blue cheese. So if you want to just fire that in with the sour cream. With making a blue cheese dip, 
what I would want to do, I'm going to give you some mayonnaise as well, Ross, and stick a wee, not too much, just a wee dollop of mayonnaise in there. So that's going to be the basis of the sauce. Mostly what it is, is a little bit, that's plenty there. Mayonnaise, sour cream, and blue cheese. But we're also going to get some garlic and some other bits all involved in a second. So if you want to just give that a waz up. That'll be perfect. And then just pour that, get that poured into the bowl. We get another big slab of the gorgonzola and just cube this up into we taste the treat bits. Into, into the blue cheese sauce. Yes. As well so you as want, the sort of pasty yeah, stuff. Yeah, so that's it. going to be quite a reasonably, should be reasonably thick paste, but we're going to finish it all off by hand. So if you want to fire me over that and the sour cream, you just want to get the back of your spoon and just get the rest of that cheese all mixed in. You want it to be a texture where it's like a sauce, but also it's got to be reasonably thick. You've got to be able to set that on top of your chicken wing or on your celery sticks and it have a bit of purpose. Yeah. And then just fire in some big chunks of blue cheese and some garlic. And then you want a bit of salt. You want a bit of pepper, if we've got the pepper kicking about, I think it's over there. And then you want a bit of lemon juice, so a bit of citrus. That'll kind of loosen up the sauce a little bit, paste it. Then we just, we tiny dot more salt. A little tiny little bit more lemon. That's your pretty much good to go. And just sprinkle some chives, and that's your blue cheese sauce. And then you're just going to want to serve this up with some celery. And there you go, you've got some celery sticks, blue cheese dip, and you're ready to check on your wings and see how they're doing. And they're looking crispy, you can see you're starting to do a bit of skin, you've got some bubbles and stuff on it. That fat and skin is just starting to really crisp up. It they, smells incredible. Yeah, and if you look at that one that's flipped over, you can see it's still juicy, nice chicken in there. So we're just gonna give that another couple of minutes and then it's gonna be ready to toss and bring the whole thing together. Wings have been in for another minute or two and you can see that they are looking bloody gorgeous. A little bit of char on them, just got them out just before they're gonna start burning, all that seasoning that's on them. You hear that, that sizzle, that's that skin getting nice and crispy. The sauce we made earlier is sitting there, it's now completely at room temperature. You can heat that up if you want. Right now you've got screaming hot wings. You put a cold sauce on them, you're gonna be able to eat them quicker. Get these off, get them in a bowl. So, we've got our wings here, all perfectly cooked, nice and crispy, succulent. Ross, if you wanna do the honors, and toss them in some sauce. <laughs> if you don't have a sauce gun, you can get some more in there. If you don't have a sauce gun, you can just pour it on, but this makes it nice and easy. Yeah. And interactive. And interactive. <laughs> you got a dish, get all that excess sauce in there. Pour a wee bit more sauce in. Because why the hell not? You've got some chives left over from your blue cheese dip. Put them on, make it look nice and fancy. And there you have buffalo wings, celery sticks, and blue cheese dip. Thank you for watching. Please buy our album.